What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for the movie Atomic Blonde starring Charlize Theron. Now, this movie was awesome. <laughs> I think that the trailer does a pretty fantastic job explaining what the movie is about. Usually with this action movies, you don't get very much dialogue. Atomic Blonde did an awesome job at telling you what the movie is about without spoiling the entire movie. They just left out one tiny little thing that I feel like I can tell you without the movie being spoiled that might intrigue you a little bit more than you're already intrigued or make you a little bit more interested if you weren't really interested at all. This movie was set in 1989, which is the best year ever because the year I was born. <laughs> Duh, no, I'm just playing, I'm not, but. That sounded bad. 1989, Berlin. So we've got the ending of the Cold War and East West Berlin Wall issue. Now they're playing like live, they're playing actual, you know, news footage and things like that from it during the whole movie. The whole soundtrack is like all your favorite like 80s songs. It reminds me of the soundtrack from The Wedding Singer, except some of the songs are like in other languages, but you know what song it is because 80s music is just so unique and undeniable. It was really cool. It was action packed. All the fight scenes were pretty awesome. Charlize Theron does her own stunts. She trains, you know, for all the martial arts stuff and whatnot. So it was pretty beastful and really intense. Like definitely feel like you're watching compilation of fights on World star for this movie like just like cringed up in your seat like ah jeez oh ah ah it's intense it was a lot of fun the whole setup for the movie is she is a spy out of London she specializes in martial arts and gaining intelligence like they tell you in the trailer now James Gascoigne who was her dude who was also a spy but obviously nobody can know that he gets murdered in Berlin while on assignment because he is carrying a lot of information that is called the list. It is contained on a watch. Now this list can blow up everybody's spot. It's got dirt on spies, on private operations that have gone on. It's basically a list that can drag the Cold War on another 40 years as it's about to end. Now, somebody kills him steals the list. So now the list is loose with some awful person that's in Berlin that's gonna cause problems for everybody if they don't get it back. Now, James had a contact. His name was Spyglass. Now Spyglass has memorized this list. So now that James is gone, obviously getting Spyglass is the next best thing. So they send Lorraine <laughs> to Berlin to go retrieve Gascoigne's body and to figure out what's going on with this list. Now, they get her in contact with, with this guy, David Percival. Now, the setup for the movie is she's being interrogated on her experience in Berlin. So she's telling the story, which I thought was a really cool way to do it. Cause you know, you see in the trailer, she's sitting in the room and she's like all beat up and everything. So it's like, you find out how all that went down she meets a lot of different people at her time in berlin including the mummy <laughs> it's not really the mummy she plays like a french chick but she's a chick from the mummy there is a pretty intense sex scene between the two of them which you get a tiny snippet of in the trailer it's much longer and much more graphic than that i'm like full on nudity i wasn't prepared just kind of came out of nowhere <laughs> like <laughs> me and my best friend were like oh geez all right we weren't we weren't expecting that. So be prepared for that. There is a huge twist at the end of the movie. It's one of those movies that ends and you're like, Oh, <laughs> it was really, really good. So the whole movie is essentially her trying to obtain this list and save the universe. Really, it's pretty much it. There is betrayal, it's hard to figure out who's on whose side. It's definitely a movie where you really, really, really gotta be paying attention, so don't go into it with somebody that's gonna talk and be distracting you if you really wanna understand what's going on. Um, it's a really awesome movie though. I definitely recommend that you go see it in theaters with all the surround sound on the biggest screen you can find because it's good. It's definitely really good. It's not like a girly movie just because it has a female lead doesn't mean it's just for girls. It's a good movie. Go see it. I definitely give it an A plus. If you have seen it, let me know what you think about it. If you weren't thinking about going to see it, but now you want to go see it, let me know that too. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.